during a time of struggle. You get lost in the desert and suffer from hunger and thirst. She says as local immigrants unite to support each other. It's time, so many years living in agony, it's time for an immigration reform, says Perla, who crossed the U.S.-Mexican border many years ago seeking for a better life. My husband, my daughter and I all crossed the border one by one, she says. A border that separates two countries but unites thousands with the stories that evolve when going across. A young local immigrant refused to show her face on camera, but explains the memories of crossing the border are still fresh in her mind. It's hard, I saw dead bodies laying on the ground that were still decomposing, she says. Others can face a tougher time searching for the so-called American dream. I was told she was left behind because couldn't keep up with walking, says the young woman who has been trying to find her mom since last year after attempting to cross the border. My mom suffered a lot and sometimes I think she was kidnapped along the way, says the heartbroken woman who tries to find comfort in the church. Well, I know that they are my brothers and sisters. You know, when you work with them this long and you hear their stories, and you see their struggles, um, it's very, very dear to my heart that um, I remain with them and work that with them to get a pathway to citizenship because they deserve that. And praying to God their faith will lead them into a better tomorrow. And praying to God um, that is hope, that the hope that God is with us is very, very powerful. In White Park, Emilio Ramos, UTVS News.